guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome back to another purse sale video. So, as you may know, this video is full of thrifted purses that we are going to sell today, and we are also going to be unboxing a name brand handbag rescue box from Thread Up. So, we always start with the clearance section, but this video I have a mega clearance section. I pulled some purses from my death pile or my money pile that I still haven't listed and it, we're gonna drop them to an even lower price. So if you're interested in anything that you see in this video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's always in the description box. Shipping is not included in the prices. Please give me a timestamp of the in, of the items you're interested in with a brief description. Um, if you haven't bought from me before, just give me your PayPal email and your mailing address in the email when you email me. Check the sold list pinned in the comment section before you email me as well so we can just keep the amount of uh, emailing back and forth to a minimum and I can get back to everybody um, in a timely manner. So I think that's it. Uh, so let's make sure um, I have a ton of purses, two pages. We have the thread up box, so let's get into it. So the mega clearance is a few purses, are a few purses that I have discounted even lower because I still haven't gotten to listing them on eBay. So the first one is, let me, I don't like holding them up on that side, <laughs> is this Furla. It is a, uh, like a tannish beige leather with the um, braided handles. I did stuff it a little bit, but it's still a little misshapen, but you can kind of get the picture. There is a little boo-boo right there. You have your furla um, tassel. Everything's in good condition. There's just um, like a little bit of discoloration on the bottom, but otherwise really nice. And then the interior is nice. You have the furla written all over the cloth, the furla on the plate there, the zipper and your slips. So this one we're discounting to $30. So grab yourself a designer handbag, furla for 30 bucks. It's really nice. You're never gonna find another furla for $30 in this condition anyway. <laughs> then we have another furla. So this is from the Secret Cupid that I had done. It was a collab. Um, this ties right here. It is a very long shoulder bag handles. It is genuine leather. It's black. Okay, this one's in really nice condition. The inside is all plain. It's all plain inside but you have your furla tag uh, right there. All right, and this one we're dropping to $30 as well. So grab these while you can. At $30, you can even resell them. So that's that one. Then we have the straw, like woven style Tory Birch. You can have the sides in or you can have them out and it's gold metallic leather there's your Tori you have these really cool uh, gold tone links with the woven handles pockets on both sides pretty nice condition on the bottom there is some wear to the gold tone here uh, magnet closure and there's your interior. This one was a little dirty. I had gotten this in a thread up box. Um, and then this you can just use to keep the bag closed. Like I was telling you in the beginning, you can keep the sides in or you can keep them out. And we're dropping this one to 50 bucks, guys. 50 bucks, look how big it is. Look how big it is, 50 bucks. All right, all right. Then we have the Vintage Coach. I love this one. I still haven't listed it, so grab it while you can. This is the black. It could be crossbody or shoulder strap. Um, it's the black Pebble Leather Vintage Coach. 
draw a string with your two pockets on each side. It is in overall very nice condition. And you just pull a little drawstring. And your interior is black. There's your creed. So really nice. On this one, we're dropping this one to 50 also. Really great deals, guys. I'm pretty sure I had the Furlas at like 80. I had the Tori at 90. And I think I had this at 80. So grab these while you can. That was the mega clearance. Now we're going to jump into the regular clearance. And we're going to start with the Coach Purple Patent Leather. Don't forget to check that sold list down in the comment section. Purple Patent Leather Coach, you have your um, pocket here on the front. It says Coach there. You have your hang tags here. Really nice condition. Plain on the back. Nice on the corners. You have a nice short um, shoulder strap, zipper closure. And then this is one that I did clean. So there's your Creed and your pockets. So this one we're dropping to $50, five zero. Then we have the Coach black leather tote bag, nice medium size. Coach right there, pebbled leather. I conditioned it really nice. Two side pockets, nothing on the back. Nice corners and nice handles. Zipper closure, pretty green interior. And we're dropping this one to $50, five zero. Then we have the Coach Brown. This one I really liked, but it did have a couple small flaws. Um, you had the fabric here, the um, leather here, and you even had some suede, which had a little mark there. Patent leather with the snake print, and you had a little mark there. Okay, really nice on the handle, back pocket. Nice, a, a teeny bit of wear on the corners. And you open it up. Nice interior. Okay, and we're gonna do, drop this one to 50 as well. All right, so my clearance usually drops by five or $10. The mega clearance dropped by a lot. I don't know if I'll ever do a mega clearance again, maybe every couple months, but um, Keep, let's keep going and just keep in mind that all these purses are in used condition. Um, there may be flaws that I miss, so just keep that in mind. These are all used unless, you know, I say that they're new at tag. But even new at tag can have flaws since they're found in the thrift stores. So let's go on with the little Kate Spade tote. This is a little nylon, really cute Kate Spade tote, black with the spade there. You have the pocket in the back here. All right. Pretty nice condition overall. Nice handles. It's a um, magnetic closure, magnetic snap. There were, I did clean this one, but the, these ink spots would not come out. So please let me disclose that. Uh, there's the spade with your zipper and your slips. This would make a great gift for like a niece or you know a young daughter or something just to have a cute little Kate Spade tote. Um, and this is gonna be 30 bucks. Okay, then we have the coach from ThreadUp uh, in the last video. This one is so cute. Um, it's that black Sapiano leather, leather with the beige handles. Here's your... Um, hang tags. It does have handles or you can use the crossbody strap or you can probably 
You can adjust it, but it would still be a pretty long shoulder bag. Really nice condition on the outside. I did really like this one, but I don't need it. Um, and then the inside, it's it was a little dirty, but overall, really nice condition. Just needs a little wipe down. And we're dropping this one to 40. I mean, such a great deal, 40 bucks. I mean, such a good deal. Good deals, good deals. All right, then we have the Nanette Lepore. This is um, faux leather. It has this really cute uh, scarf that you can also remove if you would like. The back has a pocket. This is a crossbody, or you can adjust it a little bit, but it would still be a longer shoulder bag. This one was in really nice condition. Two snap closures, three compartments, and the center is zippered with the little slip pockets. Super nice condition on this one, guys. It really actually, it does feel and look like actual leather. Um, this is a really great looking bag and it's down to $28. All right, then we had the, also from the Thread Up box last video, the little um, wallet crossbody bag. And I mean, it's in really good condition, except the coach is like missing from right there. So you had a little pocket in the back and then it opens up to like a little wallet. You have your coach there and all these little compartments. Really excellent condition on the inside. I'm only gonna do 15 bucks on this, $15 and it's yours. Really great condition, it's just the coach is rubbed off right there. Okay, that wraps it up for the mega and regular clearance section. Let's get into the regular thrifted purses. Um, so a lot of these came from good old savers, Goodwill. Um, a lot of these were sent up from Florida from my friend who helps me shop. So the first bag we're gonna start off with is gonna be from um, a few videos ago from this week. I had unboxed a um, shoe and purse box from the Goodwill box. And this was it. Um, I. The box was 20 bucks and you only get one purse. This is not the, the blue box or shopgoodwill.com. This is something completely different called the Goodwill box. And that's the website. So if you wanna check it out, um, last time I checked, they had no boxes available, but I spent $20 and this is what I got. It's Nicole Miller. This is not a bad bag. It's in great condition but I would not spend $20 on this in a thrift store. That's where we went wrong here. <laughs> so um, I'm doing 15 on this. I did 15 on it in the video when I opened it. I'll stick with 15. I'm already losing money on it. Um, so, but it is nice. It is a purple like wine faux leather with the beige handles. Um, it is in pretty good, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, I, I can't complain, it's just that 20 bucks for this, it, it's not worth it. Um, it has three compartments. The front and the back are snap closure and then the middle is zipper with like that faux suede in there. So it's cute and it's in really great condition, 15 bucks. Okay, then we have, all right, I'm on this side now. <laughs> I got them here, I got them here, I got them here, I got them here, <laughs> got them up here. <laughs> okay, so this one, I am really like so proud of myself for finding this one. I did pay up on it, but like I've said in the past videos, I do not let that, um, you know, come at you guys for the price. I just get a lower profit. I do not raise my prices because I pay up for them. Um, that because that's my choice that I'm paying up for them. So this is, look at this purple, oh, it's beautiful. Amy Kestenberg, okay, this is a very high-end brand, but I'll tell you the best part before I go into all the details about it.
it's brand new. It's brand new. Just the tag was taken off. Look, the dust bag was never even unfolded. I'm doing it right now. Here's the, the tag. Okay. So brand new. Just the tag was removed. Amy Kestenberg. The leather is butter. Butter. Um, gold hardware. This could be a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Um, you have a back zipper. You have the little feet. I mean, it's in perfect condition. It's, it is brand new. There was no flaws on it. So you have um, this compartment up here that opens and is magnetic. And then you have the main, oh, these are functioning pockets on the side here. And then in here, it doesn't have like the original price on it though, but you have your pocket with the Amy Kestenberg and your slips over there. So really super nice. And these, these go for like upwards of $200, depending on the style, the size, you know, and so on. Um, but I'm gonna bring this to you for 75. Brand new without the tag. It comes with the, the ta uh, tag and the dust bag, if I can talk. $75, I love it, beautiful. You put that one in a different area. Okay, so then we have a super cute, nice size coach black patent leather with the C's. Here is the front pocket. Okay, nothing on the back. There's your bottom. There, I don't think there was any wear to the corners. No. So no wear to the corners, excellent condition on the handles, silver tone hardware. You have the coach on each little rivet thing. Um, this one does not have any hang tags, but it is a zipper closure and I did clean out, I washed this interior. It still has a little bit of, you know, residue on there, but you should have seen it beforehand. So this one came out really nice and we're gonna do 65. All right, then we have a little vintage purse. It's so cute. It is beige. It's not really a snake print, but it is textured with a pattern. Um, I think there was one little spot. So there's a little dark spot there. And then there's a little spot there too. But really nice. This brand is called Ash, Ash Rael or Ash Real. Um, it has a nice gold tone chain that can be removed. All these cute little um, cabochons. And then the best part is how you open it. So see this little pull here? So cool. Okay, see there's the little bar that releases the handle. There's your, in oh, there's a little sticker. It says made in Hong Kong. <laughs> So there's your inside, there's your name with the zipper. Really cute. Okay, you can take the um, chain off if you would like, and we're gonna do 30 on this one. Okay, that was super cool. Let me put the smaller ones up here. Okay, then we have a badalini. You guys seem to really like these, so every time I see a nice one or like a cool pattern or whatever, I pick it up for you guys. This one I got because it's like new. Um, it's black. It has the pocket here, plain on the back. Really nice on the bottoms, the handles. Everything is really nice on this one. It's actually like so new, it's like crispy. <laughs> so you have the snap closure. Three compartments, the middle is zippered, okay, and the two, and um, the whole thing is snap closure with the middle zipper. I thought there was another closure, but no, that's it. So really cute, lots of little compartments, 
nice medium size, and we're going to do $35. I couldn't see it for a second. It's the last one on the list. <laughs> $35 on that one. Let's start putting them over here. Then we are going to flip the page, and we have a cute little Mickey Mouse belt bag or fanny pack if you were growing up around my era and earlier. Um, this is actually by Walt Disney World themselves. Uh, Walt Disney World. It is a belt bag, fanny pack, whatever you wanna call it. It is adjustable. You have your main compartment that I showed you with the tag, and then you have this front compartment here. And you have little slips and stuff like that. Really nice condition on this one. If you're a Mickey fan or if you want to wear it to go to Disney World, here you go. And we're going to do $25 on that side. Then we have this super cool purse. I found this in a Goodwill um, in Rockland County. Not that you guys know where that is, but it's like 40 minutes from me. And I was looking all over the purse section, didn't find anything, searched the whole store. And then in their hard goods section, they have like a suitcase section and like luggage, like stuff like that. I always look through there just in case. And here this one was sitting with all the suitcase and luggage. It is Banana Republic. This is a weird sticker, like a weird price, but maybe someone returned it. It is brand new. Uh, the tag is inside. It was just removed and it's a little mushed, but once you get your stuff in it, but it's a really nice brown, so soft leather with the calf hair, also brown. Here's your little Banana Republic. Really nice bottom. You unlatch this and you open up the purse. That's the only closure. There's no, um, you know, magnet or anything. And I put, here it is. Here's the tag. So it says the handbag collection, Banana Republic. So everything about it is in here, how to care for it and whatnot. And $100 price tag. So there's your interior. Slips, this bag smells so nice. Mm. Leather, okay. So there's that one, it's super cute. I love it. Like I said, it's a little bent up and we will do $50 on this one, five zero. Really like that one. Oh, we're supposed to put them over there. Okay, then we have a Vera Bradley for all my Vera lovers. This is like a cute little baguette. I love the um, pink flowers on it. I normally buy the um, solid color ones, but the spring is coming up, so I thought maybe somebody would like this one. It has a back zipper. There is one little spot on it. Where is it? Right there. I don't think it's part of the orange. I mean, it might be, I don't know. It is magnetic closure. And then there's your interior. Really nice. A little shoulder bag. And we're going to do 30 bucks. All right, all right. Then we have a coach. I really like this one too. This one's a really cute size, look at that. It is a coach um, snake print, black and brown and beige. Cute handles, really excellent condition on this one, guys. Um, you know, hardly anywhere at all. And here's your little hang tag. So now this one has three compartments. So the first compartment is behind this buckle. and it's just plain. Then the middle compartment is zippered with your slips, okay? 
and then your back pocket is a snap closure and that's where you have your zipper and your creed really nice size on this one and really nice condition and we're gonna do $60 this side okay then we have I love this bag and you guys know me I am NOT a slouchy bag person but this one spoke to me but I have enough purses I don't need another one so I'm offering it to you guys it is a Tory Burch I did condition the leather it has a pocket here zipper pocket nothing on the bottom nothing on the back <laughs> really nice on the corners and bottom you can adjust the handle a little bit your tori emblem and it is a snap closure and it might be a little difficult for me to show you in here but i'm going to try you have your slip pockets there there's your tori with your zipper and all of your um, Tori all over the liner. So really nice, I love this one. Somebody better snatch this one up. And it is $80, eight zero. I mean, this I can probably sell this online for like 150. It's in such nice condition. So 80 bucks and it's yours. Okay, going on to the next grouping. And we have, so um, I have a couple of backpacks, but they are regular size backpacks. And the first one is this really cute dinosaur backpack by Children's Place. Um, it's just has this mesh on the sides here. Really nice condition, a little bit, very light wear to the corners. The inside. There's your children's place. Your pocket there. All right, really nice. Um, actually, it smells like somebody washed it. it. It's actually really good condition, a little bit of wear on the corners, and we're just gonna do 15 bucks on this cutie. All right, $15 on that. Then we have another backpack. This is um, Jordan. This is the elephant stripe um, style. So this is a pretty sought after style. There's your Dor Jordan on the back there. Oh my gosh, you can't see it there. <laughs> nice condition on the corners. We have a pocket up front here, two pockets on the side. There's your interior. Okay, and we're going to do 45 on this one. This goes anywhere from like 40 to $200 online. So I'm doing this at 45, nice condition, $45. Then we have, I was supposed to show this in my last purse sale and I forgot because it was in my bathroom drying because I washed it. So this is a Michael Kors tote. It's um, beige and brown with the leather on the corners, the leather trim, the leather handles. Came out really nice. There's a little pocket on the back here. There is very slight wear to the bottom in the corners. It is a zipper, zipper closure. Okay. Still, there's still a little bit of stain down there, but again, you should have seen it before. It was crazy. So this one came out really nice and I'm gonna do $50 on it, five zero. Then we have, where am I? We have another vintage purse. Okay, just remember to give the timestamp of the items you're interested in along with the brief description since I do have like a lot of the same brands and stuff like that. Um, and check that sold list down in the comment section. But this is another vintage bag. It's got like a snake print, beige, nice condition. There is 
there are a few missing rhinestones. Not anything major. And then you lift this up. Okay, nice leather interior. You can remove the um, strap if you would like. And there was a little spot on the back there, right there. And we're gonna do this one for 25. Okay, let me put that one. I guess I can put that over here. Then we have a Jack George's. I love this brand. I recently found out about this brand a couple of months ago. Jack George's, it is leather. It's set up right now to be a shoulder bag, but you can adjust it to be a crossbody. I love the brown croc contrast. I did condition this one, it came out really nice. You have your zipper pocket in the front here and zipper closure. There's just a little stain right there. Really nice super sought after brand and we're doing $45. Then we have another coach and this one is black and it has the fabric. It has black patent snake print. It has this matte black here. It is silver tone hardware. You have your hang tags here pocket in the front, nothing on the back, really nice condition on the sides. I did um, wash this one as well. Uh, patent leather handles, really nice. Zipper closure and you have your black interior with your Creed and zipper and your slips over there. So this one came out really nice after a little bath and we're doing 60 on this one. Nice medium size, 60 bucks. Then we have a Whiting and Davis. Look at how cute it is. It's a gold, um, like rounded mesh. And it's kind of like um, pleated or whatever you wanna call that right there. And you have a metal braided handle really nice condition and the inside got to take the tag off <laughs> and the inside it says whiting and davis wait all over the interior i don't know if you can see that there there is a little bit of staining right there whiting and davis there Snap closure, nice cute size, and we're going to do 50 on it, five zero. Woohoo! Put that on the side. Then we have a Perlina. Ugh, everything's falling. Okay, we have a Perlina. It is uh, brown and black leather. There is some darkening right up here. You can see that, okay. We have this little, is this a little pocket? Yeah, we have a little slip pocket here. Pocket in the back. Again, a little bit of the darkening of the leather on top there. Um, corners and bottom are good. Really nice on the handles. If you didn't see, that's the Perlina logo there. It is a snap closure. And then your interior is really cute cheetah print. There's your Perlina again. And there is a little bit of, was it? Yeah, it's just a little bit of wear down there. It's nothing too serious. It just looks like some of the cheetah print is fading, but Really nice overall, just a little bit of darkening of the leather there, and we're going to do 45 on it. Nice medium size. The couch cushion I'm sitting on keeps making noises, and I hope you guys don't think it's farting because it's not. Every time I move, I, I can hear it. So, 
All right, next we have, okay, so this one is by Edmund, Edmund Salama, and he is based out of Canada. I cannot find any other purse by this brand online. I found two that sold on Etsy, but I can't see the prices. Um, it's a really nice bag, and it is, um, I'm, get, I'm gonna think it's very high end. Um, I did see a couple of bags made by this, because there's two different designs. This one is, what's it called? Vagi, V-A-G-I. And the other one, some of the other ones I found online were by, I don't know, it was something different. And they were going for over $200. So this one is made in Canada. It is, I didn't stuff it because I, it would take way too much stuffing to stuff this, but it is leather and it's got this really cool, like it's brown with like the gold brush strokes all over it. It's really cool. You can adjust the straps a little bit. It is a pretty nice large size, long handles, really excellent condition. I mean, it smells, like leather, it smells really nice. Um, you got the buckle opener opening there, and then you have three compartments. So here's your name information. There's your other side, you have a little slip pocket. Really cool, like vintage uh, lining. The only thing, oh no, never mind. I thought this zipper pull was broken, but it's there. And then you have your center compartment that's zippered. Really nice bag, really unique. And I'm asking 100 on it, 100. Really nice. I like it. It's a nice one. Okay, then we have something a little different, yet a little bit fun, actually a lot of bit fun. Um, if you guys are fans or if you've heard of the movie Mean Girls, um, this is for you. Uh, I've watched that movie so many times that I can probably say all the words with them as they're saying it, but this is a burn book. If you guys remember the burn book that Regina makes, this is a makeup brush binder. or you can use it for pencils or pens, um, but I'm pretty sure this is for makeup brushes. Okay. Burn book. I love it. So cute. So cute. Very nice condition. Okay, a little, couple little marks on the inside, but if you are a makeup lover, this is for you. Um, you can probably even put like earrings in here if you wanted, like hook them into here. Um, oh wow, there's a whole nother page. I didn't even see that. I didn't even know that. Cool. So yeah, I mean, whatever your heart desires, you can do pens, markers. Um, if you have like a coloring set, like, you know, if you're an artist and you have like um, the watercolor or charcoal pencil, stuff like that. So this is definitely really cool. Or if you're just a Mean Girls fan, this is a great thing to have. And we're gonna do $35 on it. There's ones listed for like 200 bucks. So I don't know where some people get their prices, but $35 on this one. And then we have a really cute Tory Burch makeup bag. It could be a makeup bag, it could be a lipstick holder, it could be a little clutch if you want to put your wallet in there and just go, go, go. There's your inside, the zipper right there says Tory Birch, and your logo is on the front and the side. So it is in really excellent condition, except there's a little black mark right there. And I swear comps for this are all over the place too. Upwards of $150. $150 for a little makeup bag? I don't know about all that, but I'm going to ask 40. Really pretty bright um, royal blue. 
okay? So that's everything. Let's get into the thread up box and see what we got. Okay. So this one came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. It's quite heavy. So just remember guys to email me if you see anything you would like. Another chance resale one at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box and check that sold list before you email me. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. All right, first let's make sure that this is actually the name brand handbag one. Yes, it is. And I bought this on February 4th. Okay, first off of the, out the box, I see the accessory. So the thread up name brand hand bo handbag boxes are four purses and one accessory. So here is the accessory coach with the gray. Well, it's kind of like a beige and silver. Your little hang tag, cute little uh, wristlet. Nice on the corners. Okay, overall up, oh, it was already open. Okay, really nice on the interior. Super cute, I like it. Let's do $25 on that. Really nice condition. Woo, yes! So we have three Tory Birch bags in this haul so far. This is cute. Okay, so it definitely needs some Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam. Also in the description box, I will have all the products that I like to use to clean my purses and to condition the leather, because look at that. It may not take that color off, because it's a very, it's got like a very light color to it now. Um, but I will condition it. The color might still be a little off, but at least it won't be dry. Let's see, there's the size, the, the, I mean, this person definitely never conditioned this once since they owned it, and that's sad because this was probably like, what, $400 new? Guys, remember, leather, I don't wanna sound gross, but leather is skin. You have to condition it if you want it to last. So it looks like it was supposed to have a, oh, you can switch it. Oh, cool. So if you want, you can put, you can take the strap off and put it up here to make it like a little a taller crossbody bag. That's cute. Okay, okay. I mean, the inside is in really good condition. There's a little bit of wear on the closure, but check out the inside if I can show you. Not really, but trust me on it. It's really nice in there. So, somewhere on the buttons there but overall i mean it just needs a condition but i'm still only gonna ask 40 bucks because i don't know how great i'm gonna be able to get it but it's still in structurally really nice shape okay let's see what else Ooh, a dooney okay i like dooney i think this one's cute it looks like a little bit of a bowling bag Dooney, Dooney, it's brown uh, pebbled leather. There's some corner wear. Yeah, that's kind of significant, but it's not, you know, a hole or anything. So, oh, that looks like gum. I will definitely try to get that off and I will condition this bag um, it still will be a little discolored, um, but at least it won't be dry. The handles are good. It's a zipper closure. It functions, okay. The inside is pretty dirty. Your dooney, see around the edges. But I can definitely try to clean this. Um, 
I'm going to condition the outside, but if you want me to clean the interior, you have to let me know in the email, because um, I know some people like to clean, clean their bags on their own. So just let me know. Here's the tag with the um, serial number. So we're gonna do, let's do 40 on this one too, okay? Pretty nice except for the corners. All right, then we have a Mark by Mark Jacobs. All right, move over a little bit. This is a, it looks gray, but it almost has like a little bit of purple in it, like a taupe, maybe a taupe, we'll go with that. Pebbled leather, there's your Mark by Mark Jacobs. Back looks good. The corners have a little bit of wear. Nothing too serious. It has a handle. Okay, the gold tone does have some wear to it. You see all that? Um, it does have a long strap, which is in good condition. The straps themselves are in good condition. Um, a little bit of, is a little, I can, I wonder if this will come off if I condition it. It looks like really dry. So I'll try to condition that snap closure, but the inside is really nice. The inside's really clean. So not the greatest on uh, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll do 40 on this one too. And the last one, let's see what it is. A Michael Kors, okay, that's fine. Let me make sure this works. Okay, it works. So it's a little clutch, a little um, shoulder bag clutch. You can't remove the chain though. It's silver tone chain. It's cute. It's got the Michael Kors um, plaque there. There's a pocket, in ooh, oh man. What in the heck was in there? It's like a green goblin got in there and couldn't get out. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh no. What the heck? Pennsylvania, what are you doing to me? Pennsylvania, you, you, usually Pennsylvania is like the best box. Ah, oh, I so could have I so could have just cleaned the interior, but that you cannot just clean. I'm scared to even look inside. So you pull, you push these two in and it pops open. Okay, I think we're okay on the inside here. How disappointing. We're all right in there. The green is just coming through from the other side. disappointing um, I mean if that doesn't bother you you can just cut it and um, you probably wouldn't be able to really notice because look at that's what it looks like without the piping so if that doesn't bother you and if you want me to clean the inside or at least try I'll do $25 that was the most disappointing Pennsylvania box ever. Granted, I can still make some money, but will I make my $100 back? I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I going to make my $100 back? Let me know in the comments section. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys watching. This was a little bit longer of a purse video. So I'm glad you stuck with me to the end. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, again, check that sold list. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm coming up on 6,000 subscribers and we are going to do a giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed and we will see you in the next one.